everyone. Welcome back. It's still me, Ashley, and Evan and Jasmine, and we're excited now to take you through the third section of the dance. And by the time we finish this, you'll be halfway through the choreography. So bravo to you for all that you've learned so far. So uh, where we just finished at the end of section two is grabbing somewhere in the space, and everyone can be different, but we did a grab and then we pulled our energy in towards the center. So my feet are together and I'm just about ready to step onto my left foot. So our weight is gonna sway from side to side. We're gonna sway right, left, right, and left. Just get that feeling in your body. Sway your weight from foot to foot. That's the idea. Our arms are going to do something different on the sways. So the first one, our shoulder, our right shoulder is going to dig down towards the ground. It's going to scoop down towards the ground. That's right. And then the left one's going to scoop. Scoop. Good. Let's just practice that a bunch of times together. Scoop. Scoop. Really imagine that you're digging something up so there's some resistance and some tension in your shoulder. Scoop. Scoop, that's the way. So we only do two of those, one to the right and one to the left. Then we're going to continue by reaching our arm up in the space high. This is my right arm coming over my body and across. And then do the same thing with your left arm. Reach it up, fingertips towards the ceiling and then high and across. Just do a few more of those. Right, left, right, and left. Very good. So we have two shoulders and two sweeps. Shoulder, shoulder, arm, arm. Yeah, can we try that full out with the body movement? Five, six, seven, here we go. This is shoulder, shoulder, arm, arm. Very good, very good. Let's practice that one more time. How about this time we start with that left foot in so that you can do the first one with the step to the side. Ready, five, Six, seven, here we go. This is shoulder, shoulder, arm, arm. From there, I need you to step your two feet together. You're going to step, step to bring your feet underneath you with a little gentle step towards the left side. So we just did the sweep overhead. And as I step, step, I'm going to reach my arms in the space and then they're going to wrap all the way around my body. That's the way. Yeah, try that again. So it's a reach and a wrap. Good. So my body's trying to twist towards the upper left side of the room. Very good. Just do your arms. Your arms are going to go reach, wrap. Very nice. Let's try that from shoulder, shoulder, arm, arm, continue into reach, wrap. So it's shoulder on one, shoulder on two, wave on three, wave on four, wrap on five, twist on six, reach on seven, and to finish on count eight, you're going to breathe in and send your eyes and your chest to the sky. Yeah? In dancing, when we do this lift of our sternum towards the sky, we sometimes call it a high lift, and it should feel like your heart is trying to press open your ribs and you're sending energy through your ribs and up to the ceiling. So it has a real sense of generous lift. So just practice that from here. This is count seven. On eight, your arms are gonna to drop to your sides and you're gonna go high lift, bringing your chest and eyes to the ceiling. Good. All right, let's try that with some counts from the beginning of the phrase. So draw your left leg in, be ready to step to the left. Five, six, ready, shoulders dig. Going dig, dig, paint, paint, wrap, tick, reach, and breathe. Can we try that again? Let's try that again together. One more rehearsal. Ready? Feet together. Going to step onto the left. Five, six, seven, and eight to dig on one, two, three, Four, wrap on five, twist on six, reach, breathe in. Very good, that was excellent. Let's keep going a little bit more with the phrase. So after this breath, we're going to use our feet. We're going to step with our left, left, right. That brings us to face this corner. Then we're going to switch right, left to face the downstage right corner. 
then left, right, to fa face the downstage left corner. Yeah, so we're going from corner to corner. And one, and two, and three. Can you practice that with me? Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, and step, and step, and step. Great. Our upper body, while we do those steps to the corner, is going to be doing a contraction. So our abdominals are going to tighten, our knees are going to bend, and the inside of the elbows and the palms of the hand are going to press towards me. Really, really, really push. Lots of tension in those arms. And then release that. Good. Try that again. So the spine is curving. The knees are bending. You're contracting your abdominals and pushing with the inside of your elbows and the palms of your hands. That's it. So it's like you're sending a wave of energy to us. So bend your knees, curve your spine, push with the inside of your elbows and your palms to create a contraction and release. Practice one more time with me. Press, 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 creating resistance in your body, and then release. Beautiful. So that happens alongside our steps from corner to corner. So as I step on my left foot, step, contract, you can see that there's this big beautiful curve in my spine. Now I'm going to go to the other side. Step, contract, and then on the last time I do two of those pushes. Step, contract, breathe in, and push again, this time even deeper. All right, so why don't we try that a little bit closer to the tempo with some counts. Five, six, seven, eight, and push, and push, and push, double push. You'll notice something that really helps us is that as we step on the end, we get taller, we breathe in, so that we have somewhere to move to breathe out. Then as you step to the second side again, we're breathing in, we're getting taller so that we have room to push and go out. You get tall as you step, and then you contract as your second foot joins you. Yes? Just try that a little slower with me. And contract, and contract, and double. Five, six, ready to step, and contract, and contract, and one, then two. That was very nice, good. Can we try putting that together from the beginning of the phrase? So my left foot has come in, my right shoulder is ready to dig. Slower than the music. Five, six, seven, and eight. Shoulder one, shoulder two, arm on three, arm on four, wrap five, six, reach seven, look up eight, step and one, and two, and push, double push. To finish the phrase, my right arm swings up and my ribs can follow that arm. I can look to the right, then my left arm swings up, look to the left. Now I take my feet back to the center, stepping with my right foot, hands come up. And then to finish on count eight, a big drop, lots of energy in your hands. This is like, almost like you hit a wall. Yes, your hands don't swing back, but they go stop. Can you just try that with your hands? One, two, three, go, stop. That's the way, nice and tense, like they hit a brick wall. Good, so what was that thing that happened at the end? It was right arm five, left arm six, step back seven, drop eight. From there, we repeat that whole phrase again, starting from the shoulder. Okay, so let's try it, and we'll do it through our two sets in a row. Five, six, seven, and eight, we go a one two, reach, reach, wrap, five, tick, six, reach, seven, breathe in, to go, push, push, double push, sweep the right, sweep the left, step back, seven, drop, very good, I think we should practice that one more time, but you're doing great, feet together, left foot ready to step, five, six, seven, and eight, going one, two, up, up, wrap, 
six, reach seven, breathe in, and one, and two, and push, push, sweep, sweep, and, and. Nice work, everyone. Why don't we give that a try with some music now? And don't forget that we repeat the whole phrase twice through. All right, here we go. Arm up, up, twist, twist, reach, breathe in, and one, two. Step back, again. And one, two, double, swing. All right, everyone, well done. That was a nice big chunk of choreography we learned today. So now let's think back to the material we learned in video two. If you remember, it started with face and stomach and face and fall, yeah? So let's practice that material together and connect it into what we learned today. So we'll move a little bit in the space this way so that we have room to travel and we'll try to connect these two pieces of choreography together. So um, we had finished part one. We bring our hands up to our face on one, stomach, two, up, three, fall, four, arm sweep, sweep, grab in the center, bring it down, down. One, stomach, up, fall, right sweep, left sweep, grab anywhere, bring it in. Now shoulders go one, two, over, over, twist, reach out and breathe, and one, two, push for two, up, 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 and drop, and then we repeat. Two, that's it, reach. Four, five, six, seven, and a circle to go. One, two, push for two, and up, up, suspend, and drop. Great. So that's the material from video two added to the material from video three. Why don't we practice that through now with the music? Big fall. Reach. Grab somewhere. Shoulders. Step. Again, repeat. Suspend. Up. 